Hello everyone, this is Yasmin and you are watching Yasminaholic. In today's video, I am going to tell you how to make the best lesson plan for mathematics and the topic that I have chosen is rational numbers. So let me tell you in the very beginning that this plan will only be workable for you if your students have some prior knowledge about rational numbers plus if they know how to how to do some basic operations on fractions that is they know how to take lcm of two numbers and that is they must know some of the points about how to aid fractions right so that this plan can be more appropriate and more workable for you so let's begin the plan let's begin the explanation and the class i'm taking for you have to mention the class that the class you are taking is in this in my case that is class 7 so you will mention here the class plus the section right and you have to mention the subject the subject is mathematics you have to write it like this and also mention the topic the topic is rational numbers plus mention the date or whatever date it is on that day right and the duration of your plan in my case it's 50 minutes it can be 40 minutes so you have to change it accordingly or it can be of 30 minutes so you will change it accordingly right and it's week week one of the month so i have just started the topic so it should be this and which period is it which slot is it you have to mention it that's the first second third one. whichever slot you have to write it here and let's come to the main part of the lesson plan that is the lesson objectives what will be the student able to learn at the uh, end of the lesson that is the main objective of your lesson so by the end of the lesson my students will be able to identify rational numbers that is i will be of course i will be explaining the points about rational number so by the end of the lesson they will be able to <clears throat> identify rational numbers they will be able to use basic operations on rational numbers that is addition subtraction division multiplication and they will be able to identify different brackets that is curly bracket square bracket round bracket and will be able to learn about the importance of their precedence in arithmetic plus they will be able to remove brackets according to the rules and simplify several expressions containing brackets to certain difficulty level so whatever you were uh, whatever your topic is you have to you have to write at least four or five objectives for your lesson right and what are the resources you are going to use you will mention it here and the second part the resources in my case are i'm using worksheets i am using a powerpoint presentation that is i will be using the multimedia basically you should mention multimedia here and then i am using flashcards so uh, the starter activity what will be the starter activity how are you gonna start your class my starter activity will be of five minutes and that will be just a brainstorming about rational numbers because i know my students already know about rational numbers i will be asking for some 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 points they know about rational numbers right they will brainstorm it basically and after that the methodology will start where uh, the timing is of uh, the duration is of 45 minutes and here i will write the complete process how am i gonna start the lesson what am i gonna explain in my lesson what am i going to use in my lesson like in my case i have uh, the topic the rational numbers and to to make them familiar with different rational numbers i am giving them flashcards and different numbers are written on those flashcards and they will be able to identify they will be able to identify the rational rational numbers plus the irrational numbers by by using the definitions that i've already provided and then after that i will just start the operations on the rational numbers plus I will teach them how to solve different questions on different difficulty level there can be there will be one basic question 
one will be an intermediate and one will be uh, advanced level question and they will be able to solve all of them and later I am going to give them worksheet which they will be solving in pairs because the activity that I did in the very beginning that was an individual activity that's up to you whichever whichever way you choose but in my case I have chosen the individual activity first and later I have chosen the pair activity because in the next activity two students are gonna help each other in the first activity it was quite simple so I kept it for individual and later I kept it for pair and after all of this is done I will uh, after giving them worksheet I will also provide them with the solution on the PowerPoint they will look at the solution and they will tally it with their own solution and they will and they will come up with their questions or whatever and at the end I'm going to ask those who are having wrong answers to come on the board right and just identify what their mistakes are or they can try to solve it again on the board but it, it may it depends that I am having uh, date time at the very end or not it will go that way if if I have much time available I will do this and if I have not I will go on with the next step they will just tell you their solution and I will be giving them home home assignment and those questions are the questions that I have uploaded on Google Classroom and they will be they will be checking the Google Classroom for date if you want to read this part here I have explained the process the methodology that I'm using so in a similar way you can design your lesson plan and the thing is in case of mathematics these days especially the students like activity based learning so you should keep some interesting activity whatever seems more interesting to you like you can show them a video or you can start with a quiz or you can end with a quiz or whatever seems much interesting to you you should include it in your lesson plan to make it more attractive thank you so much for watching hope you like the video if you like the video please do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends